Hello, my name is Kahakuru. Uh, I currently study in fi international finance and management accounting. And before bachelor, I actually studied in the foundational business in Black College as well. So today I want I would like to talk about my experiences in foundational business first. So um, I went to the, I started my learning in Black College, I think two, three years ago. And at the time I just graduated from my high school. So I actually cannot speak English at all. So like I went there the, on the first, first class was like business law and I have I didn't have any idea what the teacher said about so like very fast day I feel like maybe I came to the wrong place but like I realized how the foundation course was really attractive for me so the one of the reason is just because of the, the first day, I feel like because of my lack of my English skill, uh, I cannot, I couldn't catch up the, the class. But the, because of the like supportive environment in Black College, like the like teacher really understood me, my situation, like my English level. So like he tried to make me understand until I feel like everything's clear. So that's really like, I feel like comfortable for this one. And also in other class, like, like there was only, only around 10 people in my class. So like, for example, nine of, nine of our classmates understand and only me can understand. Then like the teacher and the classmate also like try to, um, teach me so that's really feel like um, supportive like not only for teacher for classmates so like that's why I feel um, foundation of course is really good and a couple of months later I start like understanding a little bit so like the teacher and black college offer a lot of wide and basic opportunity for us for example like I think they are many weeks or uh, in a few weeks or a few months, I guess speaker came to our college and any of us can go there to listen that the like extra business person story. So that's really like, to be honest, in the beginning, I started learning in Plug College. I didn't have that much interest in business, but like because of the guest speaker and the teacher offered a lot, like a lot of um, experiences, story and opportunity. Like for example, I study uh, commentary finance, as I say. So the teacher such like offering or like talk about HCA, which is like accounting thing, like certificate accounting. Like at the time I didn't have that much interest but like, because of the like, the class style, like in, in accounting class, I think, like I thought like before the uh, plug college, I just wanted high school, like um, taking a note and memorize all and do an exam. But in uh, plug college, like, I understand like how that thing could be applied in a real business situation. So like I can get like, such kind of imagination. Like if I work in accounting sector, like I can do like this, like such a th kind of a thing and guest speaker story make me like more interesting in business. So that's like, that's really unique to Flag College. That's why I think even foundation course, we can get a lot of like knowledge and insight into the like business. So I really like the things when I was in the foundation. Also, not only for bachelor, uh, not only in foundation, but 
bachelor also has really small size of a class. When I was in a um, foundation course, just 10 people. So like we can talk like so closely, like if someone has like, some opinions or doubt for that, like relating to the class, um, some like anybody can ask the teacher to join the class and sometimes that will be expand like discussion in a class. Like I have no such kind of um, experiences in high school or middle school. So like for me, it was really new and interesting thing like lecture style. So for me, it was like, um, Until like college, I didn't think like learning is not that much interesting, like just learning and memorizing things. But in plug college, just like I can use my brain and think how the world, how the society works. So um, if I didn't come to plug college, I don't think I can think like that, like use brain and analyze the situation of the society. So even in foundation, I can um, I can get such a kind of a skills and how to think like critically. So that's for me. Um, I think it was value for me to go to plug uh, foundational business in plug college before starting a bachelor degree. And. I like to add what I said in supportive environment. I have a friend who is uh, also a Japanese girl who struggled with her English skill. So one day she went to the student service and department and asked for some help for her English skill or like English. So, um, Suddenly, the new class appeared in the middle of the semester, which was like academic English to support someone who needs help, like how to make a PowerPoint much better, looks good, or how to make proper differences, or how to make a clear sentences. So those um, those things I didn't actually expect that thing because my son, like my friends, my classmates for me were really native speaker and or fluent speaker. So I just felt um, I was only me who cannot speak English. So, but because of the, the like helping the English, um, I can understand a little bit what people are saying and I can write um, in report, even I struggle and bachelor for my English, but um, that every teacher understand my situation, my English. So if I ask teacher like something, I don't, I can understand even online class or face-to-face -face class. Uh, they can have a, like individual session until I, I fully understand. That's really um, only, University or college that do that offer us like individually. Yeah, that's why I feel how foundation business of flat college is attractive for me and helpful. Thanks, Kaho. Um, I think I'm going to take over now. My name is Ireland Reddy. Um, I'm from South Africa and I'm studying international finance and business accounting. Um, Kaho also studies international finance and business accounting um, and she did the foundation and, and I didn't. But um, we want to tell you a bit about uh, the course. So international finance and business accounting, what makes the course at Prague College super unique is just the approach to to finance and to accounting itself. And as Kaho was saying, there are different opportunities with SEMA and ACCA, which are presented to us on a daily. 
and uh, you know we can either engage in the course or not it's additional and then um, what was really the most unique thing I think about our course was there was a fintech class and we're still we're still taking it but we've already done a project on it and I found it so relevant in what was going on today just in the news in the world um, and the fintech course basically teaches you financial technology and uh, it teaches you about cryptocurrency and blockchain and but it, you know it goes so much further than that it actually teaches you about regulations transfer of money and it was so relevant because what's going on in the news today is literally all about cryptocurrency and uh, elon musk and what he's doing and for us to get an inside view on that um on that system and how they and how the movement of money is working i think it fundamentally changed uh, at least my perspective of money which was very important for me. And then um, as Kaho was saying, the class sizes are really, really small, um, but it's definitely done on purpose. And um, the attention to detail is definitely there. Every student receives a different level of assistance, um, especially if you're struggling in one area, you're struggling in another area. Um, the support from student services, as Kaho was saying as well, and just from the lecturers themselves, is, uh, is just amazing. We have access to the faculty anytime that we need and um, they provide additional materials. Sometimes they have one-on-one -on -one sessions with us just to you know, give us a bit of a boost if we're struggling in a certain area. Um, the international finance course itself has different, uh, different sections. And um, on average, you're gonna have maybe, I would say between three and four modules every semester. And um, for the first year or so, uh, I would say for the first maybe two semesters, I think that's right. For the first two semesters, um, every student, whether you study international management or international finance, pretty much takes the same courses because they're all, uh, they all form the basic, uh, of basic requirements of any business degree. And you take things like HR management and... Um, you know, introduction to contemporary marketing, which is super, super important when you're going forward. Um, the HR management course was actually invaluable because, you know, it taught us from the first year how to be hireable, you know, and how to, how to essentially appeal to recruiters. Because once you learn what HR management is and what people are looking for, then you know how to become employable going forward. And they taught us very valuable skills. They taught us about LinkedIn. So we all set up LinkedIn profiles and um, we move forward like that. They taught us CV and resume skills. And then just, you know, on from the faculty's point of view, there are so many different events that um, the faculty and the student services run for students, but the goal of it is to boost students. So every semester there is a CV and a resume course, which students are invited to. Um, all students can attend, they can come and get their CVs re uh, reviewed, and um, they can get advice. The university also offers career placement, which is quite unique because we have a career fair every year, and um, the university has partners um, that they frequently interact with, which is great because university uh, for a university to have relationships with corporates makes our lives so much easier because as Kaho was saying, there's always guest speakers that come to talk to us and, you know, they, it keeps us up to date, which with what is happening in the corporate environment, because we're, we're kind of in a bubble, if you want to think about it. But what Prague College does is it kind of leaves holes in that bubble and it guides us towards it so that we can see what's going on on the outside and be the most up to date that we can. And um, I think the last thing probably is that the university has a career board, which is on all of our profiles. So um, people who are part of the public can't see it. But if you're a student, they post all the internships, all the opportunities with corporates on, uh, on this career board. And any student can look at it and apply as long as it's relevant to your course. Um, and I think that I, that's me, done. So Kaho went over, is there any way to support your English? And she was saying how there was uh, superior support for English at the university. Um, how are the modules, so a common question is how are the modules assessed and um, 
put very simply, the you have internal assessments and you have external assessments. So what you'll find is in any module that you do, you're gonna have a smaller assignment, which is your first assignment. It introduces you to the subject matter. It gets you very comfortable with it. Sometimes it will be an essay, a report, uh, perhaps it's a, small, um, it's a small test or a small exam. It's on the smaller side. It generally only counts for between, I would say 30 and 40%. And then you have your ECA, which is your big assignment. That's what gives you majority of your grade. But by the time you uh, write your ECA, you are well into the module. So you're very familiar with the subject matter. You've learned quite a bit about what is actually, about what the course actually is and what the course is teaching. And then um, you write your ECA. Your ECA can come in the form of a report, an essay, a big exam, which is for what we have coming up, Kaho and myself, is we have an exam for economics, which is a three hour paper. Um, you can't really, you know, in university, especially for business, you can't really expect to have an exam that's less than three hours. So generally you have that three hour paper and that gives you between 60 to 70% of your grade. Um, Kaho, do you want to take a question? Uh, for foundation, I think uh, they're a little, little bit different and it's more easy to understand that, uh, you know, the result that we got. So like we have only internal assessment, which is like by the lecture who teach us uh, the class. And there was only like three grade types, like distinction, merit, and I forgot the one, but like that's three. And we don't have any exam. And also we have like, just depend on the class, we have sometimes three assignment or four assignment in one semester with some class for just two, some, uh, two assignments. So like just depend on the class and the teacher. So I just applied a little bit when I went to, when I went to the bachelor because we just have only two uh, assignments, but I felt what I learned in foundation business is really helpful for when I would do the, the assignment in the bachelor, but I can say that's more e uh, harder than the assignment in the foundation course. Okay, and then there's another uh, common question. I suppose maybe people wanna hear about the digital campus um, because I mean, it's so relevant during COVID. Um, we were all, I think all students were kind of destabilized when COVID hit because suddenly we couldn't learn in a classroom. And um, we also just, we were feeling a lot of anxiety, quite honestly, I think everybody in the world was. Um, and we didn't know how we were gonna, you know, kind of get through a bachelor's degree because we were studying finance and we were freaking out because, I mean, it's already difficult enough to be learning uh, management accounting and financial accounting, which is something we do in, in a classroom because we learn, I would say it's pretty advanced stuff. And um, so we were feeling very destabilized as a class, but Prague College and uh, student services worked, I would say very, very quickly. It was almost uh, impressive how fast the university worked to get all students on track. And I wouldn't even say it was like a week. I would say it was like more of like two or three days and all yeah, students- Sometimes hours. Sometimes hours, there you go. Yeah, and, right? um, you know, they got us on track on the digital campus really quickly. Um, our whole digital campus is backed by a cloud-based system called Moodle. So every student is on Moodle and you can communicate with your lecturers through Moodle in like a separate chat. And then all the documents, all the materials, all the resources are uploaded onto Moodle. But what was done for us was very impressive at least. Um, the lecturers obviously went through Moodle and they, um, they divided the course into like week one to like week 12. So for week one, everything was organized, everything was explained all of the documents, handouts, exams, uh, class exercises, they were all in one place, which was amazing. Cause I mean, just from a study point of view, if you're struggling with a specific topic, you just go onto Moodle, you look which week the topic is in and 
all the information you could ever want is there. And then, um, you know, just in addition to the digital campus, um, Prague College also gives you access when, when you first become a student to uh, a digital library. So you can literally log on to the digital library, search for a book, and there's thousands and thousands of books. They even have papers and uh, academic papers and stuff that uh, you can use. And then all you do is you click on the PDF and there you go. You got thousands of books which are readily available. But I must be honest, we do, I personally don't use the digital library a lot because our lectures really uh, guide us very well. So we're, we're assisted on a different level. Um, you know, if we're writing a paper about management accounting, um, or rather if you're writing a paper about financial accounting, you are already given a list of regulations because um, financial accounting is governed by something called IFRS, which is um, its regulations for, for how you prepare accounts. And those regulations don't change. <laughs> it's a standardized regulation worldwide. So you get given this big stack of regulations and that's where all of your academic references will come from. Uh, that's the subject matter, that's what you're learning. So I think that was really impressive for me. So I don't use the digital uh, library too much, but um, it definitely works. And then uh, just as far as, um, you know, how are students accessing it when they're all over the world? So we have classes on Zoom, which take place uh, Prague time, generally between, I would say every student has classes at different times, but my classes are from about 11 o'clock in the morning to I would say maybe five or 6 p.m. in the evening. Um, and then what happens is when you're in the class, the class is recorded and it's posted on Moodle again. So Kaho, for example, uh, who's in Japan, she can't always Can attend we, the class. Yeah, I have to time difference for, I think now several hours. So especially one class that is like static stack now, I think like that class will be in, I think from 1 a.m. here. So like, it's gonna be finished by like 3 a.m. Like that will be like destroying my life, you know, like life time, I think. So like, I asked the like, teacher, like, can I take uh, classes on uh, like all all on the recorded class, and they totally understand my situation. And if I have a question, like, like for sure I have something that I don't understand because like they're so difficult, and I cannot ask like in time when teacher explained the things. So if I have have a question and if I can understand even by email like written by the luxury we can get a lot, we can take uh, you know zoom session individually and like then I can I don't have any problem like just because of the online or just because of the time difference it's that's so for me amazing yeah and then um, just as far as international management goes there's International management is also unique. Um, one of the things I didn't like, and I also, um, you know, was a bit upset about was that I missed out on the ethics and corporate law class. So I think the, the international management uh, students are very privileged to have that class. So those are the differences. If you're taking international management, you're, you still take uh, financial and management accounting, but you are less focused on finances and accounting. Whereas Kaho and myself are driven purely on accounting statistics and, you know, they really, um, they really focus us in that direction. But if you're an international management student, um, they encourage you to think a bit more broadly, I would say, and um, mm -hmm. essentially you're going into management, you're not going into finance. So the skills that you learn are also a little bit different. 